and welcome Scorpio. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right, so Scorpio, keep in mind, this is just a general reading, so not everything will resonate with your situation, and that's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. All right, Scorpio. have beautiful okay okay bottom of the deck is the king of wands hmm feeling victorious I keep getting something for you Scorpio has been kind of up and down. But I feel like you are remaining positive, remaining optimistic, again, kind of remaining victorious. I feel like you're being taken notice of. Hmm. For some of you, I keep getting a new relationship. You do have the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, a Sun card, Three of Swords, and then the Nine of Wands. So again, I do feel like something's been heavily weighing on you. This could be a past heartbreak. Um, or, you know, finding out like somebody you have feelings for, somebody that, you know, I keep getting some kind of connection, like having feelings for someone. Um, either you think they don't have feelings for you in return, or... This person has somebody else because I feel like somebody is kind of thinking like this person is already like with someone else. I don't have a chance. But I don't feel like that's the case. I kind of feel like you are. I feel like you're misreading the situation. Because I feel like somebody is kind of looking at it wrong. Hmm. So even though it's like, oh, you know, I keep feeling like somebody's feeling like really kind of down and just kind of bummed like, oh, you know, that great. They're already with someone. They're already talking to someone or, you know, something. I just keep getting like this, this crush that you have again, as you're seeing them already with someone or you're just misreading the situation, but it's like, it's not that it, it that it's not that way at all. Hmm. I feel like this person is single, but I feel like this person has, or is like pretty popular, has a lot of people around them, or has to kind of talk with a lot of people. But it almost feels like it's business-like or something, or this person is just really, you know, just really kind of, you know, sociable. But Scorpio, I'm seeing you being victorious. I'm seeing you finding out the truth. I'm seeing you getting that clarity, and I'm seeing you feeling, again, very very positive about this, feeling very happy about this. Yeah, again, I feel like there's kind of this up and down roller coaster, but I, I just feel like you're being very optimistic about this. That Nine of Pentacles. Feeling very confident, very independent. It's like you're working on it. Hmm. Yeah, because I do feel, again, <laughs> kind of going back to the roller coaster ride, um, you know, the Eight of Swords here. I do feel like somebody is, you know, feeling like just kind of overthinking, um, really putting, again, too much thought into something that they're kind of misreading the situation, um, really kind of stressing themselves out, worrying a little bit too much over something that's really not even there. So there's some type of, an, like I said, an illusion going on. Um, and I feel like this, you know, overthinking kind of has like a hand to play in this um, because you're reading too much into something. But I do feel like you're going to be moving forward. I do feel like, you know, again, I keep getting you're seeing some kind of clarity. You're getting some kind of answers, um, possibly, you know, communication. But I feel like, you know, there's a change of luck. So where you felt kind of stuck, you know, you're feeling you're feeling like rather lucky. You're like, oh, OK, so that's not how it is. Okay, so clarifying the Ten of Wands, look at that, you have the Sun card here twice. You have the Three of Cups and you have Temperance. 
Okay, so I do feel like there could possibly be a little bit of a competition, but for some of you, it's actually no competition, but you're seeing competition. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and that's something that's kind of weighing on you. Because it's like, why isn't this person just noticing me? Like, why, you know... Or it's like, am I reading too much into this? Are they with someone? Do they care about me? Like, I keep getting mixed signals. But again, I feel like you're going to get that clarity. Um, just be patient, okay? I keep getting don't rush any decisions or don't rush any... I just keep getting, like, pull back, don't rush. Be patient. Don't overthink. I know, especially like when you're in one of those situations, it's kind of hard not to. Because I do keep getting like almost mixed signals. But I feel like it's not really mixed signals to the other person. But it kind of is to you. Because again, that kind of overthinking. Ooh. Okay, we have the Hanged Man. We have two of Pentacles. And then we have the Two of Wands. So yeah, kind of feeling like going back and forth, needing to make a decision. Things are just kind of stagnant. But again, I do feel like there is, you know, a need for a new perspective, looking at this from a different, you know, way. Um, again, I just feel like you're kind of overthinking the situation. But don't make a decision just yet. Like I said, kind of let this play out. Again, there's a need for patience because I feel like you're going to be getting some clarity. And I feel like if you just go ahead and rush a decision, you're going to lose something here. Okay, clarifying the Three of Swords, we have the Four of Swords, King of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, see, I feel like you're ready to pounce here, Scorpio. You're ready to make a move. You're tired of the stagnancy. It's like you want answers. You want clarity. You want to know now. Um, but I, you know, I have to say pull back, especially with that Four of Swords. Just pull back. Be patient. I feel like you're going to get the answers that you want, the answers that you seek. But again, I feel like if you rush this or rush into something or rush into making a decision, there's something that you're going to lose. And this could possibly be the relationship, the person. Um, okay. So clarifying the Nine of Wands, we have the Two of Cups, the Tower card, King of Pentacles, and the Empress. So yeah, so there you are, showing up as a tower. <laughs> Um, I keep hearing, don't be so quick to judge. So again, um, with the two of cups, again, I do feel like this is kind of, you know, some trials and tribulations. I feel like you've been through some stuff in the past. This has not been easy. Again, I keep getting like a roller coaster ride kind of back and forth with something. Um, but I do feel there is a connection here. Again, I just feel like somebody needs to still possibly do some healing or somebody needs to, I keep getting somebody still trying to rebuild. Somebody's still trying to heal. So this could be you. This could be your person. I kind of have a feeling it's more your person because I feel like you're wanting to rush things, but this person is like, hold on, I just need a time out. But I feel like you're reading more into this as, well, they don't really have feelings for me. You know, again, kind of overthinking the situation. With the King of Pentacles and the Empress, both of you want stability, both of you want security. However, that is currently lacking because of a need to rebuild, a need to start over, start fresh. Um, this person does see you as someone very loving, very nurturing, um, very encouraging. And this person has a lot to offer, and they definitely want to offer it to you, Scorpio. But again, I feel like it's going to take a little bit of time. So again, don't rush things. Just let it unfold. All right, let's get some Oracle cards. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, we have both the crown chakra and the third eye chakra here. Um, we have inspiration, we have intuition. So inspiration talks about ideas, spark, conception, and impulse. Um, intuition talks about trust, insight, awareness, and guidance. So I do feel like it could possibly be a little bit um, blocked just because you're overthinking the situation, kind of going back to inspiration. Um, 
it, I keep hearing like this person drives me crazy. Um, <laughs> so, you know, again, Scorpio, I know, you know, this person may, I keep getting this person is completely different from, um, a person that, you know, from anybody that you dated before. And so it kind of seems like maybe that's why they're driving you a little bit crazy because they are completely different. And so you don't quite know how to really put your finger on it. Um, again, kind of trust that intuition, work on that intuition, listen to that intuition instead of listening to your headspace. You know, sometimes your headspace, sometimes that heart space can kind of lead you astray, but that intuition is always there to kind of keep you on track. All right, let's get some law of attraction cards. Okay, so we have high vibes. So surround yourself with positivity. Connect with yourself and source. Um, selfie, what is that? Okay, <laughs> um, so what I'm trying to say here is what you want to do is, you know, again, kind of, you know, because this is talking about like your tribe, um, things like that. So again, Trust that intuition, you know, that inspiration, third eye, crown chakra. Definitely trust into those. You're seeing things differently. You're feeling things differently. So don't second guess yourself. Don't overthink is what I keep getting. Um, surround yourself with positivity, which is like what you were doing. But it was also kind of that up and down kind of roller coaster. So, you know, try to kind of get rid of that. Um, you know, try to just focus on positivity, which, you know, easier said than done. I totally get it. Um, but, you know, maybe surrounding yourself like with people from your tribe, um, you know, who can kind of help you out, kind of, you know, talk to you, um, you know, really just kind of help you through this or help you see things again from a different perspective would definitely be really helpful. All right, let's get some charms. Okay. Okay, so we have S. We have a blank one. So when the blank ones come out, for me, that is always either something is unknown or, um, you know, kind of like we can't know it just yet um, or even just, you know, go ahead and like something's undecided and you actually get to. Okay. All right. So we have S-R-A-E-D-I. Another A. U and D. All right, so the first thing that kind of pops off to me is um, said. So a need for communication or kind of replaying what someone said to you kind of over and over again, kind of going back to overthinking. Again, you get too unknown, so it kind of tells me that, you know, that's kind of the reason for, you know, some, um, some confusion. Hmm. Dude. <laughs> Um, I'm going to leave these here. This could be somebody's initials, you know, something along those lines, but I will leave that there for you guys to kind of play with. All right. So the first thing that catches my eye is definitely the feather, the feather, you know, a need to kind of release, kind of get rid of, um, some negative energy there. We also have a little clock. So this is kind of telling me once again, you know, uh, there's a need for patience here. Um, we also have... The little octopus guy. So again, somebody could be very intuitive, but they're not listening to their intuition. So, you know, just again, kind of focus on that. We also have the little genie bottle. So again, this is talking about wish fulfillment. This is talking about, you know, hopes, dreams. Um, I keep getting manifesting and I keep getting like some kind of illusion as well. So kind of bring it, you know, kind of do some grounding, um, but definitely, you know, again, focus on that manifesting. Okay. We do have, I'm trying to get it here. What is this? Capricorn. And we have Ambitious on the back. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or you could be taking on the traits of a Capricorn. And again, feeling very ambitious. Um, with the little hanger, again, I kind of get that sense of like stagnancy. You know, something just kind of like, you know, hanging around here. Uh, we also have the little fish. So again, I keep getting struggle. Hmm. I keep getting just go with the flow because I do feel like you have been struggling. All right. We also have a little star could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could just be, you know, again, kind of, um, going towards some wish fulfillment or really kind of manifesting something here. 
then we have the bicycle. So again, kind of talking about like things are moving kind of slowly, but they're still moving. Okay. All right. Hmm. Trying to see. Trying to see what I get from this one. Let me come back to that one. All right, so the little heart, it has on there yes, no, or maybe. I keep getting somebody is like using a, um, like a pendulum or, you know, like pendulum board, kind of working with the pendulum, kind of like asking questions, things like that. Or somebody's had a reading done on this particular person, um, their particular interest, or, you know, again, kind of just like binge watching, um, like different, you know, tarot channels, tarot readings, things like that. Um, again, kind of looking for answers, but I feel like it's kind of doing more harm than it is good in a sense it's making you overthink. Um, so again, just kind of be cautious of that. With the little lizard, usually I get like regeneration. I get, you know, different little things. And I'm trying to see what I get from this one. And I'm just not getting much. So maybe it just kind of, you know, came out to come out. Um, you know, maybe somebody does, you know, love, you know, lizards. Somebody has a pet lizard. Um, this could be something of, you know, talking about regeneration as well. Um, but again, I have to go back to intuition. So I, because I keep getting like the, uh, the king of wands, you know, how he has like the little salamander, you know, sometimes by him or, um, near him or something. I keep getting like something along the lines of that. So, and you know what, now that I think about it, you did have the king of wands. Yeah. Okay. So that kind of makes sense. And see, there he is there. Okay. So you did have the king of wands on the bottom of the deck. So again, that could have some kind of significance to you. So. All right, well, Scorpio, that is what I have for you. So thank you so very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. And as always, take care.